Manchild, the definition. An adult male who still possesses psychological traits of a child. Traits include, but are not necessarily limited to, whining, pettiness, trying to pass the blame for their own undeveloped judgment, not stepping up to the plate when it's their role to, secretly still finds third grade bathroom humour amusing, not to mention an overall insecurity in who he is as a man from which similar traits sprout. That's all I'm saying. What's up guys, this is Randolph and today, I mean, shout out to you guys for the incredible support on the Deji diss track, Manchild. I've been reading so many comments, mentions, replies, etc. In this video, I'm going to watch Deji's reaction video and reply to that. And I'm also going to watch a few other reaction videos, read some comments, etc. And I guess basically just go through all the aftermath caused by this song. One thing I want to mention is everyone's been telling me to react to Kodeka's diss track on JJ. I've already seen that and so has Simon, so we both decided to talk about that and go through it in depth on on our podcast, link in the description. One more thing I want to mention before we get into this, the song is actually out now on Apple, Spotify, and all those platforms, so I'll leave a link in the description as well if you guys want to listen to it. Also, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys go and do that. I'll be posting a lot more music and more videos in the future, so make sure you, so make sure you subscribe to not miss out on all those. But anyway, let's go. Reacting to a diss track on me from KSI's bitch. And Deji, look at your channel. Look at the, look at the views on your channel. I mean, look. Look at all this. Oof, it's not looking good, man. And then until, look, until, until you, ready for, you ready for this? My song dropped, you got me in the thumbnail. Bang, views. Look what I did for you, Deji. You can't say I'm not looking out for you. <laughs> I mean, let's check his social blade. Let's see if it actually gained from my track. Ooh, nah. <laughs> It got worse. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's watch this video. Randall has done a diss track on me because I told him to spend more time with his wife. Hey guys, look, look what I am. I'm home, man. I'm home. He called my channel dead. I didn't find it funny. He might, you, you guys can find it funny. Ooh. I don't find it funny. I don't, I don't see that as funny. Guys, he doesn't find it funny, all right? He doesn't find that funny. Let's not mention that again. He doesn't like it. Fire. Uh, look, Fire. You're right. I've been living at the side man house. I took your room, bitch, to kick it out the trash. It's over. Hey, look, he's right in this, man. Look at his smile. Edgy, man. I was paying for your taxis. You're the poorest. Well, that, well that's not true. You, di you didn't pay for my taxis. In fact, JJ paid for... Our taxis. My card wasn't working. You, you didn't. You didn't pay for anything. All right, Deji. How are you gonna say this is not true? All right, let me clarify, guys. What I said is true. We were in LA for the press conference. There were too many of us, so wherever we went, we had to get two cabs. We got two Ubers everywhere. JJ paid for the cab that he was in, and then I would pay for the cab that everyone else was in, and which is usually Deji. It was usually me, Deji, and Vidal in like the extra cab. We usually had two cabs. JJ got one. I got one. So yeah. It got, it got to the point where when JJ would call a cab, he would just take your phone and call the cab off your phone because you wouldn't, he <laughs> wouldn't do it. The reason my card was getting declined was basically last minute flying to LA, I had to change my card. There was just something wrong with my card. All right, again, again, I need to pause this and clarify it. All right, the reason you were last minute flying to LA is that JJ bought everybody's flight, all right? Including you, Deji, including you. Literally, in the cab on the way to the airport, and you forgot your passport. I, I, you didn't have your passport. You had to go all the way back to get it because you left it at the house. And then obviously at that point you missed your flight. So you had to get another flight. Business class, remember by the way, business class. I think this is like a 9,000 pound flight. So that's why I imagine your car got blocked. But like, in America, they use a different way of paying. They swipe your card. For meals, we would all split it. We'd all put our cards or cash into the middle and then they would take it away to the till and then swipe it. Your card was swiping successfully every single time. And alternatively, you could have got cash, man. So yeah, man, that's, that's funny. That's funny, man. I actually have so many investments, like properties. I've been doing this for the past five years. I, I own so many houses. And wow. I, my portfolio was mad. Just me showing you Randolph my bank account. Oh, his portfolio is mad, man. Jeez, his portfolio is mad. So, like, YouTube is literally just for fun. Like, YouTube is literally his full time. No, sorry, his being JJ's bitch is his full time career. Me doing YouTube is literally just for fun. My full time job is actually property. Alright, all right, man. I mean, if your full time job is your property is and YouTube is for fun, then why are you getting so worked up about the fact that your channel is dying? Like, why does that bother you so much? And, and just to clear this up, guys, there's not an issue with living with your parents. This is what I say in the song. Yeah, how can you talk on my living arrangements when you used to live with your parents? The reason I find it funny for you is that. The reason you live with your parents is because you cannot live on your own. You have no idea about rent, electricity, bills, council tax. You have no idea on any of these things. If you if you had like two weeks on your own, living on your own, you wouldn't make it, man. Look at him, man. Look at his smile. Like he knows this is sick, man. He's he's like really trying hard not to be like, ooh. 
way too busy getting high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what he's on about is basically for the LA press conference, I took edibles, which is like weed, edibles. Yeah, I, I ate some. I've never tried it. I never tried it before. And I tried it and it basically, I'm not good when I'm high. Right, okay, so. Fair play, Deji. At least you're being honest about this. Like, yeah, at least he's saying like he doesn't like he, he's not he's not good when he's high. Uh, yeah, he, he just laughs all the time. I and mean, it's funny for me. He's laughing all the time. At a point where he's supposed to be training, like learning his lines for the press conference, all this stuff. Like, probably not the best thing. Uh, <laughs> not the best thing to do, man. I've never met a man who likes to spend more time with dudes than their own wife. I just find that I, that's weird. I, I find that weird. Like, I'd rather be around pussy than than, than penis. That's me. I've never met a man either who likes to spend more time with his parents than with girls. I mean, or do you, or do you bring the girls back to your parents' house? That's mad. If you do that, that's mad. Well, they come to the house and then when they're getting like a drink of water, they're just like, oh, hi, Deji's mum. I don't know, man. But yeah, listen, listen. Deji, you're funny, man. You're alone. Oh my god oh my god oh my gosh okay ah uh, yeah yeah i knew that would get him hey, i knew that would get him shout out shout out chubby stoner man <laughs> i'm not gonna lie this is pretty good I, like i can't dispute this is pretty good this hey guys i smashed it man some of it some of the stuff is false but not really, man. Like, literally nothing in this track is false. The only thing that is, like, people think is false is the fact that he got high before the fight. But that's not what I said in the song. I was saying, like, he lost a fight because he was getting high instead of training. Obviously, he didn't get high in the, in the fight. There's, there's drug testing, etc. But so that's the only thing. Well, literally, the rest of this song is, like, purely fact. The reason I have read on my channel, YouTube is broken. If you go on a lot of people's social blades, you'll see that they are also experienced what I'm experiencing. Yeah, Deji, yes. YouTube right now is a tough place to be in for everyone. It's a, it's a tough spot right now. But listen, it's because it's the videos you post. Like, look at what you're posting right now. I've been pregnant for three years. My dad shit himself. This video will make you laugh. Your content has got worse since after the fight. That's why people are unsubscribing. You were doing big things at the fight. Like, seriously, you were doing, you were doing well, right? So then after that, you should have, like, excelled. You should have taken your content to the next level, taken advantage of all the new subscribers and all the new people you're bringing to your channel. But you haven't. You've gone worse. Make better videos. Like, like that's it. Like, come on. Like, please make better videos. <laughs> look at that grin, man. Look at, look at his smile, man. He's like, I'm fucked. <laughs> if you can talk the talk, at least walk the walk. What's the point of this, this, this track shit? How, how about you actually just fight me? Instead of this diss track shit. Just fight me. Get in the ring with me and fight. Yo, Deji, I am not, <laughs> I am not talking to talk. I'm just saying I am fat, so I ain't fighting nothing. Like, I just don't want to fight, man. Like, when the whole boxing thing was going around, I was like, shall I train a little bit? Shall I try and get involved? And I was like, nah, I just don't watch boxing. I don't really like doing it myself. So I, I just don't care to box, man. And also, I wouldn't want you to fight me. Like you're saying, I'm irrelevant, man. Don't fight me. Go and fight Joe Willer, man. That's a fight that we all want to see. Go and fight Joe Willer. It'll be big for you. It'll be big for him. That'll be a sick fight. Go and fight Joe, man. If you can talk the talk, if you can talk the talk, go and fight Weller. Alright, so he's on 160,000 likes, so I guess he's doing a diss back. But honestly, right now, guys, I don't know what to do right now. I'm in, I'm in like a weird position right now. Like, I don't know how he can respond in, like, this reaction video was terrible. He said nothing in here that made me scared. And we know from recent diss tracks that he's not good at it. He's JJ's brother, man, like... I don't really want to go too in on Deji because I don't want to cause like drama in his family. If he really, really goes hard at me in this, in this track, I will have to respond. I, I mean, I will go in on him again if if it needs to. But honestly, I'm bored of Deji right now. Like, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I guess just watch this space, guys. Watch this space. All right, what else we got? We got True Jordy speaking about this. Let's let's see what Brian and Lawrence have got to say about this whole Dead Channel thing. Deji. <laughs> oh, wow, that's family. That's family, bro. That's family. JJ's fucking fist. Because JJ doesn't know what to say or do then. No, no. He? Pretty sure Deji responded. I have good news and bad news. <laughs> Deji's. <laughs> Deji's titles cracked me up. Randolph said this. <laughs> the way he just said Randolph. Randolph. <laughs> can we just, can we get Ra a replay? Randolph. The eyebrow is even raised. <laughs> Randolph. I mean, you spend more time with JJ than you do your own wife. Randolph has a wife. But can we Let's all just slow the <laughs> fuck down, all right? Can we confirm, though, that there's nothing sexual going on between Randolph and JJ? It's purely <laughs> platonic. Absolutely. And there's nothing sexual going on between Randolph and his wife. You've because who that. would find that attractive? You, this is an exclusive. <laughs> You say shit like that behind my back in a video publicly, that's not cool. Very, the very definition of things in a public video, that is not behind someone's back. <laughs>
I, I just need to be absolutely clear about this. <laughs> How dare you say things behind my back in public? <laughs> that's, wait, 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 wait. Wait, that is something that I didn't even mention in my video, but that's what, that's what I found funny as well. Oh, exclusive! So expect to see a man alone in a smoky, well-lit environment very soon. You've got to give credit to Randolph. I mean, whatever you think of him, he knows how to play the YouTube game. He's thinking to himself, I'll grow a beard, I'll get a handsome southern lad to do a podcast with him. Where does he get his ideas from? <laughs> huh? Ooh. Uh, I, lo I love these guys, man. The one thing I never got right on YouTube is I didn't understand how to play the game. Uh, and that's what I'm learning now. That's why my channel's doing better now since I've been back. I've been posting again for one year. I came back last, like, last October just after the diss tracks. So yeah, like... I'm learning how to play the game. That's what's different now. And like, that's, what, that's why I'm growing, because I'm, I'm being, being smart with it. All right, well, what else we got? No, yeah, here we go. We got Talia's reaction as well. So let's check this out. Um, I know both Randolph and Deji, so I'm kind of neutral in the middle of the moment. So I'm not really, I don't feel like I'm biased. I don't know, maybe I am. Hey, hey, I mean, I know you're supposed to be like unbiased in a reaction video. So I, I, I appreciate that. But Talia, like, I thought we were, I thought we were friends, man. You're saying you're, you're saying you rate Deji as much as you rate me. I see, I see you. Ugh. So Randolph, <laughs> by the way, is one of the nicest human beings. Like, he doesn't have a bad bone in his body. Ooh, okay. So oh, thank you, Talia. All right, forget what I said before. Yeah, we're friends again now. We're friends again. We're cool, we're cool. So yeah, this is all beef that happened a lot. I mean, I probably shouldn't be getting into this. Do you know what? We're just gonna... <clears throat> Alright, so that's what she's saying here, right? You guys need to realise that this is happening now because of Deji's video that he directed at me. Everything I was saying in this diss track came like a while ago. This that's why I find it funny in Deji's first video where he said like, you're always nice to my face. Like, Deji, I'm not, man. Like, I, I do still, I, I love you, man. There's certain times that I cannot rate you, I cannot respect you for, and I told you that to your face. In LA, I said to you, Deji, I don't rate you. Like, some of the stuff that you're doing is just not on. Like, you can't do that. So don't say that I'll, it's all behind your back. So this, like, beef stems from a while ago. I know every time your card comes out, the clam, bro. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? Because <laughs> you still live with your parents. I got loyalty deep in my veins. You got no. <laughs> it is true, then. You're just a poor man, I can't lie. You're just a war mark, KSI. You oh. went to war. All right, let's watch Simon's as well. Obviously, you know me and Simon are boys. Why is it always you? Why is it always Deji involved in diss tracks, fighting, everything? Jump it's because he can't take a joke, man. He c it's because he takes everything. Oh, it's because he takes it all way too seriously, man. But you lost your pedigree. I'm more of. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in for the jugular. Pedigree, obviously, meaning the recorded ancestry or lineage of a person or family. He's lost his like his stature. Also means his dog. And I think there was a there was actually a dog. It's over. You lost your pedigree. I'm more There's a dog ad lib. <laughs> there's actually a word. I mean also Hey, an ad lib. <laughs> I love how he says there's a dog ad lib. That's not better, right? That's not me going I got a dog I got a dog sound. I guess it is technically an ad lib, but it's not me doing it. His line about paying for taxis in LA, I I can say that that's that's true. When we got there Look, for the uh, press conference, did his card didn't work apparently on his or his app didn't work. I don't know which it was, but yeah, he weren't paying for no taxis. Walmart. That's my favorite line so far. Oh, I love how both like both him and Talia like really loved that line. <laughs> These two are made for each other, man. How cute. Man child little bitch. Randolph. <laughs> no! That is that's... I know one Yo, thing. I got a party cannon out of it. If I could ask for one thing from this track, it's that I would get a party cannon. So, thanks, Simon. I know I know you like to keep those for your second channel, for your FIFA series, but... I'm just happy that I could, could get one too. Make sure you go listen to the song on Apple Music and Spotify, etc. Link in the description. And yeah, this video is really long right now, I imagine. So, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace. My ammo, I ain't seen that much red since Jake handled your face. But it's so good, at least you got paid. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. 20%, that's all you got. So you got. Could have been 40, but you got dropped. You got dropped. I your brother trying to get half, didn't get.